lot of pain. This is a face of a sickle cell crisis, as documented in a YouTube video. The intense pain is caused by sickle cells clogging blood vessels and joints and organs. The problem is red blood cells filled with abnormal hemoglobin. When oxygen levels get low, the defective hemoglobin clumps together, causing the red blood cells to change into a sickle shape. They're now stiff and sticky, so they get stuck and clog up tiny blood vessels. Now, what if there was a way to get sickle cells to clog blood vessels in cancerous tumors? The surrounding effect of this, once a vessel is blocked, is infarction, where the cells around the blocked ves blood vessels die from oxygen deprivation. That's what Dr. David Terman, professor of molecular genetics at the University of Alabama, has figured out how to do. In a just published study, his team was able to kill tumors in mice by infusing sickle cells into the mice. By pre treating the tumors with low dose radiation and a drug that disrupts the tumor blood vessels, the stage was set for sickle cells to kill the cancer. This shows red blood cells moving through a tumor. Within 30 minutes of adding sickle cells, the tumor vessels are getting clogged with sticky cells. Photomicrographs of a tumor shows red areas that are blood vessels completely jammed with sickle cells. This not only deprives the cancer cells of needed oxygen, it sets off a cascade of tumor toxic biochemical reactions. The net effect is a complete obliteration, not just of the tumor cells, but also of the cells that promote tumor regrowth. Now, to be clear, this does not give a person sickle cell disease. The sickle cells in an infusion have about a 30-day lifespan. And in any case, they're mostly able to clump and clog just in blood vessels that have been pretreated with a drug and radiation. Human clinical trials of this cancer-killing approach are about to get underway, but it is kind of really an exciting kind of turnabout where you can take something that's yeah. really nasty and put it to good use.